Hi guys, my name is Ivo and I'm from mytestedasp.net. In this video I'm going to show you how to use c -sharp extension methods in cool and creative ways. Let's dive in. I have prepared a simple demo. So the first way is to use extension methods with your domain models. Usually domain models have only properties and only data associated with them. And in most ways, for example, with domain driven design, the model classes only have getters and a public constructor which allows a perfect state for the class. So let's say that I would like to show a string representing the cat's maturity here. Uh, depending on its age. For example, if the cat is younger than two years old, I would have to return a string young. One of the ways to do this is to create a new method here and to write public string get cat maturity and so on. But this way I'm starting to pollute my model classes because they uh, now have more than one purpose they no longer have the single responsibility. They will have the purpose of storing data and they will have the purpose of um, calculating some logic. So if I use extension methods, I can easily uh, extract the logic from the data and I will have better separation of concerns. Here is the example. Instead of writing the method directly in the class, I can extract it as an extension method and have it stay on the side. This way my both uh, classes stay uh, more, stay purer and they're uh, better in terms of separation. Okay, the second example is with enums. Enums are uh, like this. We have an order status which eventually has one of the following pending, paid, shipped or completed. Usually you cannot create methods and logic around enums, but by using extension methods it gets very easier because you can extend the enumeration and give logic behind it. For example, I have get message this order status which returns some sort of a message depending on the status of the current order. For example, if the order is pending, I return a message your order is pending. Uh, if the status is paid, I return a message your order is paid and is waiting shipment. And if the status is not here and is not one of the values, I throw an error because if somebody adds a new order status value, for example, comes here and says refunded or something like that, this switch statement will throw an error here and I will be reminded that I will need to add another case. So usually when people are working with enumerations they have uh, they put the logic around them in various places. For example this logic here is kind of some sort of a view logic. So people tend to put that logic in the view directly so they render the message depending on the order status. That's okay but it doesn't it has too much logic in your view and if you extract it as an extension method your view will be very simple. You will just need to write something like div order dot status dot get message and it will be printed directly if you are using sp.net core of course I'm my example here is using HTML so it gets easier and separated so in this way the extension methods uh, 
the extension method is allowing you to have better separation again. Okay, and the last example is with interface abstractions. Imagine the following scenario. I have an iExportable interface which has the method save to file, receiving model and file path. And the idea of this interface is to be put everywhere uh, I want to export some sort of object to a file. Cool, so I have two services, a cat service which implements the interface and it has some logic and I have a dog service which also has some logic here and implements the interface. Okay, that's fine, but what happens if I decide that I need to save the object to, for example, the memory, or send it through the network, or export it to PDF, or whatever. Uh, if I add a new method here, I will need to go to all my implementations, and you can imagine that in a huge system, the iExportable interface will have a lot of implementations, and I will need to go everywhere and implement the method directly. And that may be quite a lot of work. The better approach here is to make the interface more abstract and then uh, introduce extension methods which allow you to not have additional, uh, additional needed implementations and also with all these example, examples with the extension methods, you're adding additional logic without modifying state. So it's easier for the client developer to see that these methods don't modify state. The same is applicable to the domain models example and it's applicable here. So the idea is to have a more abstract iExportable interface, for example, save model to the abstract stream output and my services will implement these, uh, this method, only the save one, the cat service and the dog service, and then if I need to have a method save to file, I'm going to extend the interface and reuse the base implementation, the stream one. Then if I need to add even another method, save to memory, I can reuse it still and I don't need to re-implement these interfaces. I only need to add a new method here and it will be available for all the called using the iExportable interface. So guys, I hope you like these three, these three examples. Let me show you before I finish uh, where you can find these, uh, these uh, classes and the source code and everything I'm actually showing you on my YouTube channel. Just go to GitHub, go to my profile it's Ivai Okenov. Hit repositories here and write down TV. This is the repository in which I'm uploading all my uh, demo codes from my videos. You can find that I also link all the lessons. I link their source code and the video on YouTube so uh, you can take a look and see where you may like something from here, I don't know. The source code is here from all the videos so you can download it and play with it, you can do whatever you like. I will be extremely thankful if you give this project a star. You may also watch it because uh, usually I upload the source code and I link the video before I publish it to YouTube so you will find it uh, before everyone else. And I would like to thank my sponsors too. 
These are Bellatrix, Resharper, Softuni, Smart IT, Noble Hire, and OneBit Software. Thank you guys, you truly rock, and I'm extremely, extremely thankful for your support. You motivate me to continue doing my YouTube channel and all the free lessons I'm providing the people, trying to educate them to become better C-sharp developers. Okay, that was it for now. Bye.